welcome to Lamorna Cove. It's absolutely beautiful here and I, to, to be honest, I didn't actually expect it to be this busy. Currently walking over these uh, big rock formation boulders, which it looks great here, doesn't it? So, do you know what? I've been meaning to come down to Lamorna Cove to go for a nice little snorkel for, I don't know, probably all summer. And today I just figured it's probably one of the last days of sun we're gonna get for at least another week. So today's the day. I'd also just like to say hello and welcome to all the new subscribers. Last week I made a collaboration video with Wendell Explores and it seemed that, you know, we posted the video and then I just got like 50 subscribers from that. So I appreciate everyone that's come across to say hello and to, to watch these videos. But if you are one of those people that, that found this channel because of the collab that we did, then leave it in the comments. But I think it's about time we got in the sea. Now, there's a few waves out there, so I don't actually know how, how great the visibility is gonna be or whether we can see anything, but I just, I really wanna get out in the water. So let's go. Right, so as I'm not, as I don't really know what the boat traffic's like in this area, I do have a, a tow float with me, which I'm gonna inflate when I head out there, just so that people can see me whenever I'm out there. And for those of you that don't follow me on Instagram, I recently snapped my, the strap on my snorkel mask I've had since I was about 14 years old. So it was a bit of an eventful day that day, and a bit sad. But for today, I'm just gonna use Kate's mask. But last time I wore this, it kind of like rubs right on the bridge of my nose. Apparently you can get new straps, so thanks Alex from Fast Light for letting me know that you can order new straps. All right, let's do it. It's almost like the more, the more snorkeling I do, the more stuff I just end up having to carry with me. It's like never ending. How come the stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away? Show us where we are. It's one of our kids and dogs, they just love the water. So do I, so do I. What makes the sun go to sleep every night? And what's it dreaming of? I wonder. How come the sky sometimes hides behind the clouds? Maybe it's just like me, a little bit scared of heights. Why does the rain always keep on pouring down when it's grey outside? Now, I know this is going to sound really weird, but all of these little coves, even though it's all in the same sort of stretch of coastline, they're all different. There's always different things to see. The kelp here is very, very different to some of the other beaches in this area. But look at how stunning it looks from out here. And as much as I love this thing, it's great because I've got my car key in it as well, so it means that I can come out and not have to worry about my car. But listen, you probably hear it in there. Oh, you can see it, there, there it is, inside. But I don't think the, uh, the strap's quite long enough, so I might have to get an extension for it because at the moment, if I want to dive down, I've got to kind of unattach it from myself because every time I dive down, it's kind of pulling me back up, which I thought would be the case anyway, but I wanted one which would allow you to put stuff inside because, for instance, if I wanted to swim out to that point over there and take my drone with me, I could put it inside there and then swim out and I know it would be, well, fairly safe. To solve the problem of it stopping me from diving down will be a longer strap. It's that simple. That guy up there, probably can't see it, but the sun has come out and look how beautiful it is now.
I've got a red mark here from the mask. Smoking. So, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little, little flag out there. And that could mean a man at, it could mean anything, but I think it might mean that there might have some divers out there. So I'm gonna go check it out. Another good thing about having one of these is on the, on here, there's a whistle. So you can do that if you need to. Probably should have done that. Watch all my search and rescue people come rushing over now. Right, let's go check out the flag. not for divers because that was proper covered in seaweed but just goes to show the deeper you come out away from the, the shoreline the murkier it gets i am tempted to to dive down there and check it out though i have to just do strap this onto the flag so that i don't end up losing my car keys because that would be a nightmare That should hold. Let's check this out. I think that was a bit deep for me. Whew. Maybe if I had someone to someone with me to make sure that I come back up. But yeah, awesome. So yeah, that was that was Lamorna Cove. Absolutely stunning. And as I said when I was out there, it's so weird how different like different areas can look underwater and the different types of kelp and the different types of fish there wasn't a great deal of fish out there some big ones but i'm not sure how well they came out on camera so would i recommend snorkeling here yes 100 percent but that's about it from me thank you very much for watching don't forget to love sundays and i'll see you in the next video cheers